Hold your breath. Make a wish. Count to three. One, two, three. Come with me. Up and you'll be up in a world of pure imagination. Take a look and you'll see into your imagination. Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me in Singapore. Can you believe it? I made it in one piece. I arrived yesterday and because of jet lag, I basically missed an entire night's sleep. So I probably look really tired. Um, I'm in my work clothes right now because I went into town. I went to a place called the Clifford Pier because Raffles is closed because I wanted a tea drinking location for Lee Kuan Yew, who is going to be in the lineup of Masters for the Masters series. So stay tuned for that because that should be really interesting. Um, yeah, I filmed that today. And now I'm just off to get a coconut. So I wanted to take you with me. We're gonna get a fresh coconut. It's gonna be amazing. I love fresh coconuts. They're so healing and nourishing after a big long flight. And hopefully with all the walking around and running around I did today, I would be exhausted enough to sleep through the night because last night I barely slept and uh, I think that's why I'm pretty run down today. I think today is the third, tomorrow is the fourth, so tomorrow I fly to Sydney and yeah there's going to be more getting over the jet lag um, but the website will go live again on the 14th. I, I will be working when I get to Sydney each day, I have a lot of things to do, work a bit each day but the website will be live again. I, I've, um, Amazingly, I've met some people on this trip who are interested in, you know, seeing what their chart is about and all that, so that's really amazing. I met the most wonderful couple on the plane, an English couple, who are now my friends, basically. We're going to meet up and do things when I arrive back in England, so I'm very excited about that. Uh, and I met a lovely lady today who showed me, um, gosh, this amazing shop where they sell moss like paintings that basically have moss and leaves and things growing out of the painting it's the most incredible thing i've ever seen and she was just this amazing person so already i've had such an amazing time but how about we wander this way and we'll get a coconut together i'll show you around a little bit so this shop here this is called mustafa uh, mustafa center so you can see that there so Mustafa Center is brilliant. You can get, it's kind of like, it's kind of like, I was gonna say it's kind of like the Harrods of Singapore. It's sort of, it's sort of like a dollar store version or hypermarket version of Harrods in Singapore, where you can buy everything from like an Omega watch to coconut oil for your skin. You know, it's just like, or toothpaste or something. It's just like the maddest place where you can get everything. And, I just love this place. It's, it's really, it's a bit mad inside though. Uh, it's a bit crazy. So maybe we might go there, but what I thought we'd do is we go down the street and this is little India here. And I can show you, I can show you for example, where I had dinner last night, which was really amazing. And we'll go and get, we'll go and get a coconut as well because I am in need of nourishment. I'm so exhausted. And I'm gonna have the coconut. I'll go back to the hotel, I'll put on a t-shirt and come back and have dinner and uh, I'll have you with me and we'll do a little bit of um, astro chat. Yes, what are, what's the topic? I'm thinking travel. I think travel would be the right thing to do. So stay tuned. So well, let's get that coconut and then, um, and then I'll be back. So this is the place where I had dinner last night. I'll just go this way so you can see. It's called... Uh, it's called Ananda. Ananda Bhavan Vegetarian. It is so good. I had just the vegetarian biryani and a mango lassi. It was enough for four people. I'm serious. I was just like, oh my god, I cannot eat that much. I did well. I ate quite a large portion, but I did have to leave some, which wasn't great. But tonight, I'm gonna, that one's a fancy one. That's air conditioned, right? So the one we're gonna eat at tonight is not air conditioned, it's proper street food. And I'm so excited. So let's go get that coconut. <gasps> Which one should I get? They all look so good. 
Oh my gosh, I love these. I think I want to get that one because it's huge. And you should see when they when they cut it up, they get this huge knife and it's like, I, I don't know if I could get away with that knife. It's very impressive. So maybe I'll try and film that if I can. Let's see, but I think this is the one I'm going to get. Wow. Oh, that's amazing. That's perfect. Thank you so much. Dinner has arrived. I had my coconut. It was amazing. I'm just about to try this mango lassi and see what it's like. I had the one in the place before. Whoops, I'm dripping it. location huh so anyway um had the coconut i was gonna i wanted to film it like me taking it from the guy but i couldn't because like too many, i don't have enough hands so i didn't film that part but i took it back and i probably had more nourishment from that one coconut than i've had the whole day and i ate it a very nice place today because the pier is amazing but now i'm here in this beautiful place i love being here i love eating outdoors as well um, which is really cool but let's talk astrology right so i wanted to talk about travel and what i've got here is i've got these um uh, would you believe these are francs and i have one turkish lira <laughs> it says 10 on there so I don't know it's kind of interesting I've got a little bit of an audience here it's making me slightly uncomfortable so I have this Turkish coin and I have these francs because I thought I saw these francs in my travel wallet and I thought these would be a perfect size for planets and of course this uh, Turkish coin is a brilliant Rahu amongst francs these are all francs here and this is one Turkish coin that's my Rahu so if you're traveling, how do you see that in a chart? And I thought I'd talk through the charts of all, you know, I'll pick four people that I know and have consulted. Um, I've studied their chart and lives and I know, you know, uh, what is yeah. the thing that has made them travel. So it's usually Rahu Ketu in your chart that will determine and show what kind of travel you're going to do. So let's have a look. So let's put Rahu, let's put Rahu in the, hang on, is it going to focus? Yes, it is going to focus. Rahu in the seven. And Ketu here. So these people, they travel. Wow, do they travel. These Rahu in the seventh will see the world and you'll see the world on a shoestring or in luxury, but you will see the world. I know someone who, she's Australian, she lives in London, she's traveled all of Europe, she got married in Italy, um, she's quite the traveler. And she's got her Rahu in the seven. It's Rahu sits alone. But if you have, say for example, I've seen like Rahu and Saturn together in the seven, that's long distance or you'll live far away uh, from your place of birth as well. I've seen that. Um, so that's a really interesting placement there. Now let's take a look at another example. So I'm gonna put Rahu in the, this is another person I'm thinking of, and she married a surgeon. Oops, being knocked about. Uh, she married a surgeon, and she is a very close friend, actually. I love this person, and uh, she herself is a surgeon too, and she has her Rahu in the second house. Let's take a look here. Rahu in the second, and Ketu in the eighth. So what's the deal with that? So she travels a lot due to her work, but she travels a lot in connection with her husband. He, um, he needs to travel for work and she has been accompanying him on his travels. So this is kind of family related travel. Uh, there's another person I know who, he has his Ketu, now I'm gonna put his Ketu here. And his Rahu is here. Now this guy, he's a client of mine and he does travel as well. Uh, but his travel is mostly escape related. So he is, what does he do? He's like a, he's a sort of consultant. Yeah, six house consultant, let's just call him that. He does a lot of things. But he, uh, right in the 12th, 
12th, he loves to get away and he loves to travel. He loves to escape. So when he gets on a plane, it's about escape and it's about leaving it all behind. And that's very 12th house kind of travel. With the, by the way, with the Rahu in the seventh, I'm gonna put that there. Let's talk about work-related travel. So that's when Rahu is in the, uh, yes, in the seventh, or Rahu could be here, right? In particular here or here. This kind of Rahu will travel, yes, uh, in the seventh I said you'll see the world, you'll see it on a shoestring or on a, um, you know, a five star sort of a way, but uh, Rahu in the tenth, I know someone, she is traveling right now, in the last few months she's probably been to, I've lost count how many countries, she's in Rahu Dasha and she is flying all over the world with work absolutely amazing so Rahu in the 10th you will travel through your work and I think Rahu in the 7th you can travel in in relation to your work in relation to your public so you might be and or your business but it's your business kind of thing so you're opening offices around the world or um, whereas employed uh, well, it doesn't have to be just employment it could be either you could be running your own business with the 10th as well I don't see why not and now let's have a look at, I think I'm going to do one last one. And that's of course the one that we've got going on now. So we've got, at the moment in the sky, we've got our Rahu here in the third. And we've got our Ketu here in the, uh, in the ninth, don't we? Yeah. I know two people's charts. I'll tell you that like both of them have done PhDs. Uh, one, she, she's London based and the other one Chalo, I know very well. and now the one who's London based she has her Rahu in fact in the ninth and she is European but living in um, she's European but living in London but she has like international opportunities coming her way all the time so she's definitely on the go and can be on the go more if she wants to. The other one was Rahu. He had he had a, did a PhD abroad, and he had Rahu in the third, and Ketu in the Rahu in the third, Ketu in the ninth. Sorry, just switched them around. Now he yes led a very international life as well. He had Mars in the fourth. Now Mars in the fourth is a very um, interesting placement of people who move around a lot. So if you want to know, am I going to settle abroad? You'll want to look at Rahu Ketu Axis and you'll want to look at, I think, fourth house or cancer, yeah, yeah, the sign of cancer. Uh, but I know, so this guy had, he moved abroad because he had Mars in the fourth. And yes, Mars in the fourth will produce a restlessness and you'll find your success better in foreign lands. So. When it comes to travel, there are quite a few different things we can look at. Just trying to think, was there anything else I had in mind? Maybe, look, if there is something else, I'll put it in the description below. And of course, if there are any corrections to what I need to say here, because I'm just pulling this straight out of my head today. I, I do have a correction on the Karl Lagerfeld video. I need to check this when I get back. Um, I, where, in the place where I say Nietzsche Bunga Raggio, because it just rolls off my tongue, I might have... I need to check this. I'm not sure. I think it might just be Nietzsche Bunga. Cancellation of debility in the, his D10. I, I will check that. So there might be a correction in that video. But know that if I ever need to do a correction, I certainly will. And um, yeah, I, that's thank God for the description section, right? But yeah, I think this has been a nice travel update. What's happening travel wise? And of course, if you have any clues or more things to add, please feel free to comment in the description below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. And I think it's time for me to tuck into this amazing meal. I mean, look at this, guys. I have another feast. Another sensational feast. My holiday begins right now. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna chill out with this beautiful mango lassi. I'm gonna enjoy the sounds and the sights and the sky and being able to just sit outdoors in a t-shirt is a real novelty for me because I've been in 
cold England. Mind you, we had a heat wave last summer. That's actually one of the reasons I'm traveling, to get away from the heat, which is strange. But that's another story for another time. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.